Hey, Richard here from Guadalajara, and remember I was going to show you how to use aloe vera plant, savula plant, to actually try and heal. Uh, heal. Uh, for me, it's eye surgery. I'm going to be using it in my healing program for eye surgery. Could be for burn, could be for a cut on your body, could be for an abrasion when you fall down and slip. A uh, little warning, it is going to sting just for the first little bit, but actually aloe vera works as a pain relief also, so it's a mild pain reliever as well as a healing plant. Uh, I use it internally, externally, all over. So I'm gonna get at this. I'm gonna try and show you really quickly how I'm going to use it for uh, healing my eyes. So first off, okay, and I'm gonna do, try and do this one-handed. I've got my savula plant, right? I went out, I cut one off of a growing uh, plant. That is, this is obviously two years or more. That's the most ripe point. Uh, they can be, uh, younger than that. And inside you're gonna see different layers. Like you're gonna see that clear inside, and then you're gonna see a yellow greeny kind of layer. And uh, if you really skin a plant and go right through it, uh, the clear is a, is a good healing gel. It's really good internally, externally, all over. You can see that actually dripping out now. That is the yellow laxative. That will actually make you go uh, more regular to the bathroom, right? But if you use it all in combination, it uh, you'll be fine. Uh, nothing. You're not gonna get the runs uh, that bad. So what happens here now is I pick my plant, cut it off. I've washed it in the sink, and if you can notice these little sharp edges on the side, okay, I trim those off I, without cutting the outside edge. I just trim off the real points of them without cutting the the outside edge of the plant with a knife, okay? And that's really easy to do. You can just here's the plant. You just run it down the edge really softly. And then just cut off the prickly points that uh, that will actually stick in the hand. So now I've, I'm going to cut off a steak for my eyes. Okay, this is the size I need. And it was, actually came off of there. And I cut it this wide. And what I did was I took the knife and I cut it in half. Okay, so now I have two halves. Two halves of the savula plant. And I'm going to take my glasses off now. I'm not supposed to... Uh, Watch computer, TV, be outside, inside, anywhere for the first week without sunglasses on, right? That was a, my loss. So here are my eyes. Uh, well, it's now 12 hours after my surgery. So you can see that uh, some of the shock and bruising from the blood uh, uh, and uh, the surgery that was done uh, has affected my eyes. And that's what I'm going to try and reduce. Uh, I do have surgical tape on... Uh, on top of my stitches, uh, it was stitched rather than surgical. And part of that's because <laughs> I drink coffee and I'm a smoker, right? So I had to go to the hospital. I had to have a special anesthesia used uh, for me, uh, a, a freezing around the eyes uh, that helps clotting a bit. And I did have to take vitamin K uh, starting immediately when I seen the doctor until the surgery so that it helped in the clotting and everything was fine. Everything went great today. Uh, uh, just minimal bleeding, just like normal. So uh, I've got that off now. So what I did was I prepared my bed. Oh, you can see that. I prepared my bed with a towel. And when you have the surgery, it's best to lay down with your head a little raised, but tucked back. Your shoulders are a little raised, but your head tucked back a little bit. Use a pillow or something for under your neck. And that actually lets the blood rush to your body. I had to do that for two hours after my surgery. Uh, go down to the lower part of your body, but yet uh, with your head raised, it, it minimizes the bruising that goes on around your eyes. So, my goal is to show you and show everybody else, even the doctor, how well this aloe vera is going to heal my plants. Today, I'm only going to do one treatment. And so, I'm going to lay down on the bed here now. And be comfortable with the pillow underneath me. And I'm actually going to take... Oops, this aloe vera and put one half on one eye and just let it rest there. And I'm going to have to do this with my head straight up and down. So I'm going to say goodbye to you, but you're going to put both halves there. You can just wipe it, but for now I'm going to do a soak, which is about 15 minutes. I'm going to rest here with both halves on my eyes. And uh, we're going to talk to you tomorrow. We're going to keep a daily update of... Uh, how this is either through pictures or through videos. So the Richard Satry Guadalajara healing my eyes with aloe vera plant. We're gonna to talk to you later.